Hey everyone, so I have completely redone my Zoomed large pyridarium. And you guys can probably see what's missing here. Uh, so it's pretty much no longer a pyridarium since that means you have water and land. Uh, I got rid of the water part. Uh, so let me explain why I did this. I was using the red flintstone on the bottom. Uh, and for some reason, I don't think that had anything to do with it. But my everything I put in there seemed to just die on me. Uh, so I tried guppies in there. Over time, they just died. I uh, tried Daniels. They were dying off. Uh, tried a King Beta. He died off. Everything I put in this in the bottom for some reason died. I had a filter. I had a heater. I had lights. Everything. My live plants stayed alive. And that suction cup sucks. Uh, yes, yeah, so everything I put in the bottom in the water that was a uh, fish just seemed to die on me. So I just got fed up with it, took out all of the red flint stone, and put in the uh, reptile good stuff here. Uh, so yeah, so I just completely redid it. Sorry, the tanks burnt a little bit. Yeah, it's murky. Um, I, I did wipe it down, it's just kind of hard to wipe down all the way. Ah uh, yeah, so except for the one that just fell there. So I'm using all the same plants. Uh, they're all just fake plants. Uh, when I had the actual pyridium with the wire set up, I uh, had the base in the middle. I tried some live plants. Those all died on me as well. Uh, I might try some new live plants since uh, since I got rid of the water. I think the humidity in here was just killing the plants as well. Uh, so I might retry that. So if you guys have any good plant ideas for this tank, do leave a comment below. Uh, I'll see if I can find them in my area. Uh, of course, not water plants, uh, you know, just normal plants. Uh, so I would like to try some live plants again. I also do need to get some more more of these. Probably need to get like four or five more more uh, fake plants to stick on the side here. Yeah, this one, for some reason, though, I wetted and everything. It's supposed to be a really good brand. I can't remember which one it was, but it does not like to stay on here. Yeah, so I have couple different types in here. Uh, most of these are silk. These ones are not silk, but these are all silk. These are all silk. Uh, they're all the good stuff. And I have that giant piece of cork in here as well. I uh, also have a smaller one next to it. I have the vine that was in the water, or part partly in the water. I have the piece of wood here. I uh, added this rack in here, which is from a different tank that I took down. Uh, and he likes to hide in there. I probably just woke him up. Uh, I have this, I have this called baby grass. That stupid plant. Uh, baby grass, I don't know what you actually call that. But I think it looks pretty cool. He actually likes to sit on top of it. Uh, I do have my crusty in here still. That's who I'm referring to. Uh, there is his food. Uh, then I have their very good uh, moisture holding substrate in the bottom there. Yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. Take a step back here. Uh, I like the way it looks better now than it did before. Uh, I do have the light in here. It's not a heat producing light. I'm gonna blind you guys. It's just one little UVB light in here. Uh, I have it in here just, I had that for when I had the live plants. Uh, Crusties do not need the UVB, of course, since they're nocturnal. Um, but I think it also makes the tangle look a little bit better. That way I can see them. That way he also knows that it's daytime. Uh, it doesn't really produce any heat though. Yeah, so that is my redone pyudarium. I said I really like the way it looks now. I uh, do need to add in more of those plants. Uh, they are just somewhat expensive. They're like 10 to 20 bucks each, something like that. Uh, they're not cheap. Uh, again, if you guys know of any good live plants you think will be okay in here, again, the humidity is not as high as it once was since there's no more water on the bottom, uh, do leave me a comment below, please. And I'll see if I can find it. And see if I can actually keep it alive. Yeah, so that is my completely redone Zoo Med large pyudarium. It is no longer a pyudarium since I took out all the water. Uh, now it's just a crusty gecko normal tank. That is huge. Uh, this is the 18 by 18 by 36 one. For those that are wondering. Uh, so this is a good size tank. Especially for just one crusty. Uh, but I think he really likes it. So... Yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this. Again, have any good live plant ideas that you're, you know, that are not for water, uh, just normal live plants. 
that you think will be okay in a Crusty Gecko tank, let me know. Again, I'll see if I can find it. Just leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this tank as well. Just leave a comment below. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, hopefully I can somehow get that plant to actually stick. Uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye. Have a good one.